This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at multicam editing in Final Cut Pro 10 version 10.1. My name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to organize a multicam clip using the angle editor. We've now got our multicam clip. So now let's get serious about the angle editor. Let's take a closer look at what's going on. Notice that I have a clip and the clip is contained inside an angle. Here I've got a clip contained inside the camera 2 angle. Clip contained inside the camera 3 angle. But although I have a clip, as I drag my playhead across, I only see a single shot up here inside the viewer, and that's because when I have clips loaded into the angle editor, I only see the angle that I'm monitoring. That's this blue TV set here. If I scroll down and monitor camera 2, now as I drag back and forth with the playhead, notice I see just my down center close-up camera. Or I go back to the jib arm. This determines the shot that I see when I'm not yet editing the multicam clip. Now for video, this is nice because you can select which wide shot you want. But for audio, it's really helpful. For this webinar, I've turned audio off. but you know how when you have two audio clips that are not quite in sync, how echoey and hollow they sound? Well, that's what this audio monitor is. So I can turn this audio monitor on, and now as I skim back and forth, if you were listening to this on your system at home, you would hear audio coming from camera one and camera two. And you could quickly see whether those clips were in sync or not. Or I want to monitor video from camera one, but I want to hear the audio on camera two. This does not affect the edit. All it's doing is controlling what I monitor before the edit starts. So I could monitor one track or two tracks or whatever I want. Well, it gets even more interesting than that. Let's say, hypothetically, that I didn't want camera four. For some reason, I bundled the wrong camera in and I need to get rid of it. Click this downward pointing arrow, just left mouse click, standard mouse click. Go all the way to the bottom and say, delete the angle. Now I've removed that camera. I've got camera one, two, and three, but not camera four. Oh, wrong, I want camera four. So click the downward pointing arrow and say, add an angle. And now I've got an untitled angle, which I can click on camera 4 and rename to whatever I want, but there's nothing inside it. Let's go up to the viewer, grab the angle, and drag it down. And now I've added a shot to that angle, but it's not synced. Hmm. I should sync that, shouldn't I? So let's click here and say sync to monitoring angle. Skim to a frame and click to sync the angle to the playhead. Well, let's go up to here and click that frame right there and say sync the angle to the playhead. All right, so we're going to click the first angle and that syncs it to the playhead. I just click the first frame and my clip synced it to the position of the playhead, click done, and it's now in sync. So I can delete an angle, I can add an angle, but I can also change the order of angles. But order doesn't become important until we discover the third major component of multicam. First is creating the multicam itself and getting it synced. Second is getting it organized inside the angle editor. The third is seeing the results of all these shots at the same time inside the angle viewer. To do that, we go to Window, Viewer Display, Show Angles. And there's our four shots, high center left, low center left, jib arm to the right, close up to the right. Except I want to have all of my wide shots be up on top. So I go down to the angle editor, go all the way to the right, and you see these little three lines. It's called the thumb. I'm going to grab the thumb and drag up and change the position. Let's see, put camera three next to camera two, and now my two wide shots are together and my two close ups are together. Except I want to put camera 4 to the left of camera 2, so I'll drag down, grab the camera 4 thumb, drag up, whoop, 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 down, 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 down one more. Come on, slower please. People are watching. <sighs> Make it smaller. 
turn it into something because I've got a really, really small screen. I want to have camera one be first, right. Then I want to do camera three. Then I want to do camera two. And now when I put it up here, wide, 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 except I want camera two up here. We can, it's like a tile game. You can just sort of shuffle the puzzle until you're happy with it. In my particular case, I like to have it go one, two, three, and four, so we'll just reorganize it again. Camera one, two, three, four, and essentially, I mean, you can build this however you want, and you can see the results here in the Angle Viewer. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at multicam editing inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 124. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership in our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 700 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions.